said that I'd have a quick look at making a quick deck for heroes. So I've done a more casual style deck that will function, and I've also done a more uh, meta type, type deck. That is the more expensive version, I'm going to say that now. So for the cheaper deck, although it depends if you want to play with a side deck or not, this is certainly up to you. We have one Ice Neos. We have one Liquid Soldier. We have one Neos. We have two Shadow Mists. Play three if you really want to. Two is the pref preferable type. We have one Solid Soldier. This just got reprinted in Toon Chaos. There's lots of rares of this currently on the market. Maybe if you go to locals, you can uh, pick this up quite cheaply. Elemental Heroes Stratos. Just a great search card for he Elemental Heroes anyway. You play three of. Now we have, just for a bit of flavour, we have a Elemental Hero Avion, an Elemental Hero Sparkman, an Elemental Hero Bercentrix. Just for a bit of flavour, and you'll see why in a bit. Two Malicious, three Mass Change, three Miracle Fusion, three Ecall. Two Elemental Hero Vision. Again, a lot of Elemental Heroes is just searching and just drawing things at your deck constantly. Two Poly, just in case any of this here gets stopped or destroyed. Avion. Three Unexpected Die. If you've got no monster, summon a level 4 monster or summon a level 4 or lower warrior monster onto the field from your deck. Normal monster. Normal monster, which is why we play these three. Because they're all normal, so they've got no effects. Also, can we have some justice for poor Clayman? Can we get Clayman in a nice holographic rare, please? These secret rares are very nice. Uh, we play two increase. We play three Ferris. One reinforcement of the army. Three Corp of the Graves. And then one a hero lives. Just very standard. Going first. Uh, Corp of the Grave. Stops hand traps. I've been told it stops Nibiru. I don't think that's true, but it definitely could be. Extra deck, more flavour, absolute zero. Great card, you want it in any Element Hero deck. The flavour is my Flame Wingman, so I am very much the anime boy when it comes to Element of Heroes. I love just the, uh, the deck, I'm sure I've shown this off before. Again, that's why we play those three cards in here. Because you need an Avion and a Bersendrix. But then if you want to play uh, Grand Merge, you want two normal monsters again. We have two here. Just in case you want to do something like that. We have one Sunrise. Depending how you feel, some people want to play two Sunrise. We have one Acid. Acid obviously just got reprinted again in Toon Chaos. Quite a lot of these in the market going quite cheap. If you need, If you need any... Uh, Mass Hero Dark Law. We have two of these. It's a mix up if you want two or three. Totally depends on you. We've got one Anki. I really wish Anki didn't just have a gold rare. I want, I want this to be blueprinted. Please. Please go on me. Uh, one extra hero. One the Diver. Now that we don't have to link summon. I don't really know if you want to have this in your deck anymore. I haven't really seen many new um, strategies around this. Now that we don't need link monsters in the game. Obviously you can just fusion some and synchro as much as you want now. Uh, again, Dread Decimator, not too sure if you see him anymore. You do still see Cross Crusader though. It's a very good generic link too. Two warriors. Although, it is the Destiny Heroes, and you'll see why. Uh, Vision Hero Trinity, Vision Hero Adoration, and then, just because it is generic warriors, uh, is old Two Tails of the Noble Knights. Again, I don't know if we play any link monsters anymore in these decks just because we don't have to but I do still see Cross Crusader being used just because you do still play you know a couple of Destiny Heroes in this deck on the inside deck you got your Ashes you got your Nibiru's you got your Evenly Matched you got your Imperial Order you got a Pancratops you got two DD Crow two Effect Veilers stuff like this here is excuse me oh excuse me indeed 
So yeah, stuff like this here is more inclined of what's currently in the meta. So you will have to change out your hand traps depending on how the meta is. Maybe you want to have a dark roll no more in here. Nibiru is always good at the moment, especially for a go second for a going second deck. Just because most people will generally at least try and link out five things or special summon five things during a turn now, just because that's how you guys play it. So Nibiru is always good to have on hand. But that's that's a fun deck. Uh mean to people deck you have liquid soldier with your cards normal summoned you can target one level 4 or lower hero monster in your graveyard except liquid soldier special summon it if this card is used as a fusion material for a hero monster and sent to the graveyard banished you can draw two cards and discard one card you can only use elemental hero liquid soldier effect once per turn and only once that turn I've not seen anyone use more than one liquid soldier I honestly thought it was going to be like a 2 to 3 of card because it's just like the draw effect on it but it seems that people just want just the one. And it's normally just used to like synchro uh, fusion into liquid hero. Uh, absolute zero. Which makes sense. Uh, again, we'll play one on his Neos. It's just got a good effect. It's a, it is a hero version of Honest. Again, this time we're playing three Shadow Mists. Playing one Solid Soldier. Again, in this case, normal summon, you special summon one level four or lower hero monster from your hand. If this goes into, from the monster zone to the graveyard by a spell effect, you can target one hero monster in your graveyard, except soldier, special summon it in defense position. You can use the effect of another hero. So, <coughs> excuse me. Again, you were going to just use him as a fusion material because you did, you didn't get to recursive him back from the graveyard. Stratus, excuse me, I was going to use tonight. Fantastic search here. It's either or. Destroy a spell trap on the field up to the number of hero monsters you control except this card. So if you've got like um, Master Hero Dark, Master Hero Acid, and then maybe a Sunrise plus this card, that's free. So you can destroy free trap or spells or whatever value in the back row. Or you can add one hero monster from your deck to your hand, which is normally what this is used for. Evil Hero Adjusted Knight. You can discard, yeah. You can discard this card. Add one dark fusion or one card that spe specifically lists dark fusion in its texts, and we'll go to it in a second. So yeah, it's just a one-off. It's a search card for a card going up. Disney Hero Malicious. Banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon another one. Again, you can use this. Uh, set it. Uh, activate it to dark law. Banish it. So next one. Oh. oh, oh, excuse me. Or you can bash it a few other ways. You'll see in a second. Dark Hero Plasma. Must be special summoned from your hand by tributing three monsters. They get the effect of face up monsters while your opponent controls them. Not necessarily used a lot of, but it's a card that does occasionally get used as flavour in decks. And Dark Calling. So you have three Dark Callings. This is where you have uh, a Tussie Gold. You can search for him. So you can Stratos into him, he can get rid of him, <coughs> excuse me, and then you can use this card to then summon something surely yeah, in the end. So, emergency here, cool, three of these again, such a great card, you can just see there, add one of them here, once from your deck to your hand, while we're using one, two, three, four, five, six, so there's six different ones in our deck. Another reinforcement of the army, add level 4 lower armor monster from your deck to your hand. A hero lives. If you control no face up monsters, pay half your life points, so especially summon one level 4 lower of a hero monster from your deck. As you may notice, most elemental heroes are level 4 or lower, so 1, 2, 3, 4 of them are level 4. Although we do also have a dusted gold as a level 4, which is why you then search for it. Uh, Vision Hero Faris, you discard one of a hero monster special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal special summoned, you can place one Vision Hero monster from your deck, except Vision Hero Faris, your spell and trap zone as face up continuous trap. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of this, except hero monsters. You can only use the effect of Vision Hero Faris once per turn. So, Faris, I normally believe, is brought out for Vion. Don't, don't quote me on this though. But yeah, so you got various into increase. Increase if you say battle damage or effect while this card is in your graveyard. You place this in your spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. 
during your main phase, if this card is treated as a continuous trap, you can tribute one hero master special summon this card. If this card is special summoned from the spell spell, you can special summon one level four or lower vision hero master from your deck. Oh, hello, Violet. If this card is not special summoned, you can send one hero monster from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use this effect of vision hero violent once per turn. Once per turn, you can banish one hero monster from your graveyard and add one polarization from your deck. Mass change. Again, you want you want hero you want mass heroes in this uh, extra deck. Uh, Call of the Grave again, as I said last time, just go for hand traps, as you are a little bit weak to hand traps because you are quite a spell heavy archetype. Fusion one element hero monster from the extra deck by banishing fusion is listed on your field or graveyard. Well, you have a lot of graveyard here. Oh, yeah. so you have a lot of graveyard filling with this deck. You have one poly, and then we have one of the heroes. And then the extra deck, you have one absolute. Must be fused to something gains 500 attack for each water monster on the field, except another hero, absolute zero. Perfectly great if you're going to go up against aqua monsters or uh, aqua decks. It's called it's the fact that you destroy all, mon all monsters your opponent's controls. Well, you summon this out, and then you go into acid. Must be supposed to summon mass change. When this guy is supposed to summon destroy as many spell and traps your opponent's controls as possible, and if you do, all monsters they control lose 300 attack. So, here's something else for you. Not only are you wiping their board of all the monsters, you then destroy the back row. So, wiped. And that's how good, like, just this combo here is. We just... So, you get your two, you get your hero, plus your water, so your liquid soldier, plus, say, solid. Fusion summon. Okay. Well, didn't work. Okay, well, I'm going to use mass change. Mass change removes it from the field. It goes to the graveyard. Washes away all their monsters. Acid comes out, wipes well the back row. So they've got they've got a fresh board and you're just there setting up. But Anki, it's supposed to be a mass change. This card can directly attack, but when it does so using this effect, the battle damage flipped to your opponent is halved, which let's face it is very standard for piercing damage or slash uh, direct damage. When this card destroys an opponent's bat monster in battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can add one change quick play spell. From your deck to your hand, you can only use this effect of mass change and key once per turn. As a rule, you only will. There's not many cards that I don't think there's anything besides like one hero cards, like double attack or double up that lets you attack twice or just doubles at your uh, damage. I haven't seen it for a little bit, so I'm not too sure. Masked hero dot lord again. I think we did play free. Yeah, we did play free. Um, obviously, you're normally going to play your free mass changes one for your acids and then two for your dark law. But it does depend upon the matchup. Let's just mass change any card since your opponent's graveyard is banished instead, which is obviously really good. Unless you're playing against Dark, uh, let's play against uh, Thunder Dragons, then they banish your stuff anyway. Let's turn if your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, except during the draw phase or a damage dev, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand. So, yeah, if you've got someone who's obviously playing maybe pots uh, like a uh, pot of extravagance or pot of uh, desires. There you go. So yeah, they might may have drew one, but now they gotta get get rid of one. Uh, evil hero bane, one hero monster. Oh, sorry, one evil hero monster and one level five or higher monster must be special summoned with dark fusion. Cannot be destroyed by a battle or card effect during your main phase. You can destroy all monsters your opponents control with attack less two or equal than this card. Also, this card gets two hundred attack for each monster destroyed this way. You can, you also cannot declare an attack for the rest of this turn except with hero monsters. You can only use the effect of Evil Hero Malicious Bane once per turn. Great card. He's technically your in-house powerhouse. Just just a big boy. Just a big beat stick. Cross Crusaders. To your Destiny Hero. So essentially you want to use this to get back to uh, to these boys. Under Hero. If a Hero Monster is normal to summon to your zone... This guy points to target one permanent special spell, fusion spell, or change quick play spell in your graveyard. Set that target. You can only activate this once per turn. If this card is destroyed by a battle since the graveyard, or if this card is in the position it's destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can send this special summon one here monster from your hand. So yeah, this is actually not too bad. It is a link to those who are obviously putting two cards into the uh, graveyard before, but you are recurring your spells, which is obviously quite good for this deck because you want a fusion as much as possible. Uh, 
Extra Hero, Dread Decimator, 2 plus Hero Monsters. This card, also any Hero Monster it points to, gains 100 attack for each Hero Monster with different names in your graveyard. If this card attacks Defense Position Monster, inflict Peace and Bad Damage. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very good. Very basic, but very good. 25, which is around about the average for uh, a Fusion-based uh, Hero. A Vision Hero, uh, yeah, Vision Hero Trinity. Three Hero Monsters. After this card is fusion summoned for the rest of this turn, this attack can double its original attack. This fusion summon card can also attack second and third attack during the each battle phase. Cannot attack directly. So yeah, you're hoping that your opponent's got some uh, lower monsters just so you can start beating through them. But when you are doing 5,000 damage, you know, you say that it's this versus a 3,000, well that's 2,000, and then maybe you're going to go up against like a 1,500. So that's... 3,500 says so 5,300. If you can do the same again, that's game. But yeah, Trinity is not a bad card, it's just uh, sometimes a bit awkward to play depending on your opponent's field. Uh, Vision Hero Adoration, two hero monsters. Once per turn, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls and one other hero monster you control. The opponent's target monster loses attack and defense equal to the attack of your targeted monster until the end of this turn. And then, as I said, a third Dark Lord. Just in case it's more important for you to have. Dark Lord on the field, then say a board wipe. You're playing something like zombies, you want them to banish those instead of putting them to the graveyard because graveyard recursion is very much a thing with zombies. And again, very similar, well, exactly the same uh, side deck for heroes in this one as in the fun deck because, again, as I said, side decks all depend on what the meta currently is. So, I hope that was interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, to OG who asked the question so just buy some structure decks in all fairness the structure decks do come with a couple of good cards that you may want uh, for instance it does come with Shadow Mist it does come with uh, Dark Lore it does come with a few other bits and bobs now in all fairness I'd have a quick look at what's actually come on these lists here and what actually comes from those there and actually weigh up the price difference um, in all fairness if you can get cheap boxes because I have seen some places have like 6 to £7 pounds, and it might sort of work out that you're paying about that price just for like the four or five cards from that you actually you actually need for the set, then yeah, you, you carry on and buy them. But to be honest, if it's cheaper just to buy the singles, just look at buying the singles. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Hope this uh, weird deck profile thing it looks okay. If it's something you're interested in, let me know, and I'll see if I can do some other things. But for now, it's a uh, peace out. Two videos today, boys. Not very often, but it happens occasionally. Have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you.